Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and I guess you could say I'm back. It has been a while, um, obviously, you know, a few months have passed, and uh, more or less I've been busy with everything, and that's always the same, re like, response though. And what I tried telling you guys, which, like, I guess I'm not good at really, is just admitting that I am more stressed out and I can't really do things. Because, like, I try my best to open up, but, like, usually what happens is, like, I don't like burdening people. Like, I really hate that. I really hate the idea of, like, you know, opening up and then just, like, becoming, like, a problem for someone else. Because, like, it scares me. In my mind, it's, like, how in the world can you lead someone if, like, you can't first take care of yourself? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make sense. Of course, part of, like, being a leader in itself is knowing when to ask for help, so... Um, obviously I've had a lot of time to think, and every single time I do think uh, about stuff, usually it comes out with like a really good outcome, so, where I maybe didn't think enough. But, um, obviously I'm back, so I have something to say. Since I was gone, um, I did do a lot of other things, such as like the musical I was in, um, I was the lead for, which was amazing, best experience ever. I've been able to spend time with friends, I've been able to, uh, go into sports, but like all this stuff is just eating me up, and, um, what I slowly started to realize was that I love... YouTube like that's what made me really who I was not the platform like no one cares about the platform but like for the fact that when I started this channel it was for the fact that I was alone and it was more not the fact that I didn't want to be alone but more the fact that I want to make sure that if there's anyone out there like me they could come to a place and spend time together even though this might not be the best channel ever one person across the world somewhere to look through the screen and say you know what I can connect with you and you know you don't really get that often and the thing that really sucks is the fact that like you know I have all these other friends that I had online that like I mean a lot of them still talk to me like I've known some of these kids since like eighth grade so like it's been like four years which is crazy and like I've known some of these guys more than I have like for people like in real life you know which is kind of like messed up but the same sense it's, it's kind of amazing to know that like there's people out there that are more loyal that you can become more connected to through a screen and I feel like I've just become disconnected, and it's kind of sad. My problem was the fact that I couldn't identify with what I wanted at all. I couldn't identify with the fact that, oh, I'm making videos for what? What, am I just going to play a damn game for, like, anything? Because that's not who I am, you know? I'm not the kind of guy to just, like, play a game for the hell of it. I mean, unless I'm with friends or something, but, like, it just, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. To me, I, I've always wanted to have something that has a little bit of impact, you know, something where, like, I at least can spend time with friends and, like, you know, have them be happy or, like, I have, can affect others, you know? Like, that's what brings me joy. You know, I've always been kind of, like, ambitious when it comes to stuff. Like, that's who I am. So with that time to think, I, um, more or less put down, uh, what I usually do, where I have a little list and I'm like, this is what I'm going to do. Bam, 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 bam. And as you can tell, ta-da, the room is different. I hope you guys can tell some of the posters I put up. But other than that, I mean, like, for example, back there, that's my bulletin board for all the planning that we're going to do. So in the future, we can put down, like, any plans for each day, and I can actually, like, write them down. Obviously, I have my, uh, my, my weeboo shit. But, I mean, there's my dinosaur. There's, there's my one punch. There's my Rick and Morty over there. I mean, there's some stuff right here, too. Um, here's Margaret, if you guys even remember her. You probably don't remember this. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it brings back a lot of nostalgia, but that's the thing. Like, um, you know, I, my, I think my problem really was when I started, I was looking too much into the past. And now I'm looking too much into the future, which I kind of lost myself, which sounds kind of silly. But I mean, you can't be fighting for something when you don't even know what you're fighting for. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to look back at what I started this whole journey for in the first place. And that was a love for making people happy. That's generic. I mean, you can make people happy through like, oh, I like playing basketball. Or I like fashion. Oh, oh, oh. How? But I feel like the thing that made me happy was I felt like I could give someone a chance to like actually like have a spot where they can belong you know like that was my thing and I was able to more or less inspire people to like go on adventures do this you know it may you may fail but who cares like I was a guy that said even if you fail as long as you tried that's what makes the journey the journey in general um and there's been um this one book that I found right here which was chasing failure and I 
freaking loved it. I freaking loved it. And you know, th th um, this book right here actually inspired me. So that like, um, I remember, I believe um, it was freshman year and like that thing just made me go at it. And like, that's when I actually did have my biggest growth. Another thing was when I did Struggling Against Destiny, which I bring up every freaking video because of like how much it did like inspire me and help the community and my friends. And you know, it basically was a foundation point. And of course, what symbolizes most of it, what a lot of people see me as all the time, is what started it all, which was this. Um, you know, I made videos, I, I did all this other stuff, but nothing would have happened if it wasn't for this. This symbolized me moving forward, despite all the other stuff, me always looking for a future so bright, it's too much for my eyes. And you know, I think I need to keep doing that. I do. Now, obviously, I have been busy. Um, I'm currently a senior in high school, and uh, I only have one more semester, so, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I might just fail miserably as I uh, have in um, the few past years. But, of course, um, one thing that people know about me is I'm way too stubborn. So, I'll show you what I have in my room. Um, it's going to be a little bit boring, but I don't care. I feel like I owe it to you guys. Hi. So, um, I have my webcam in my hand. These pictures right here mean a lot to me. You probably can't see them really, but they're actually fan art from a friend of mine named Orange Digit. The thing is about these, um, they're my first fan art ever. And I remember when I was in a dark place, um, when I actually had these mailed to me, I basically was like, wow, someone put in the time to do this for me. And I never thought of the fact that, you know, something so little like this, someone actually like drawing, like basically the moments that, oh, they're just a video really affected someone else you know like someone sat down and took the time to enjoy themselves and join me on that journey which sounds silly but in the same sense like even though it may be just a game or it might just be like a live stream or a video like people are joining like me and other people on these experiences which like kind of build them as people now the biggest one this is big nostalgia trip this poster this huge bulletin board was my first one okay i put this up i believe it was 2017 and i was like you know what i'm gonna make my dream happen and this I remember I planned out everything. Like this is my inspiration. This was like everything. And I looked back at this, and you know what? I think I think after looking back at like all these like memories, all these um things that really have formed me, I think I I think I've hit something. So I finally have a schedule. I finally have some kind of plan. And um, all I ask really is that I hope you guys will be able to join me for the ride. Um, I want to explain that I am coming back. That. Um, you know, it's, it's probably going to be a lot of grinding on one night, posting videos out, and just being ambitious, but what, it, what I've realized is that it, it's all for you guys. It really is. It's all about, you know, making sure that, like, our dreams aren't just dreams. And as cheesy as that sounds, like, you know, people don't, people don't listen to that a lot. Are things different? Yeah. Yeah, things are very different. But I hope that in the end, uh, you guys won't give up. The same way I have been. And maybe it's just because I'm stubborn, but, uh, you know what? I think people need to be a little stubborn. My name is Blue Digit. Now let's fight for a future so bright. It's too much for our eyes.